So Rumble, the alternative platform to YouTube, have issued a wonderful response to Tory MP Caroline Dynage after she sent them a disturbing letter with a veiled threat to their existence. And this is what it says, and I quote, Today we received an extremely disturbing letter from a committee chair in the UK Parliament. While Rumble obviously deplores sexual assault, rape and all serious crimes and believes that both alleged victims and the accused are entitled to a full and serious investigation, it is vital to note that recent allegations against Russell Brand have nothing to do with content on Rumble's platform. Just yesterday, YouTube announced that, based solely on these media accusations, it was barring Mr Brand from monetizing his video content. Rumble stands for very different values. We have devoted ourselves to the vital cause of defending a free internet, meaning an internet where no one arbitrarily dictates which ideas can or cannot be heard, or which citizens may or may not be entitled to a platform. We regard it as deeply inappropriate and dangerous that the UK Parliament would attempt to control who is allowed to speak on our platform or to earn a living from doing so. Singling out an individual and demanding his ban is even more disturbing given the absence of any connection between the allegations and his content on Rumble. We don't agree with the behaviour of many Rumble creators but we refuse to penalise them for actions that have nothing to do with our platform. Although it may be politically and socially easier for Rumble to join a cancel culture mob, doing so would be a violation of our company's values and mission. We emphatically reject the UK Parliament's demands, end quote. And good for them. And I will be uploading my content onto Rumble after this. I don't care if it's a bit hard for a technophobe like me. I'll get Mrs. 49 to do it. She's good at this kind of stuff. But Rumble with this letter have sold themselves to me now. And it's only a matter of time before YouTube does something about me anyway, because I, I talk against the grain, don't I? I'm not very much a left-wing narrative guy. And because of this, Rumble's share prices have tumbled drastically. Now, they're calling Russell Brand a conspiracy theorist for uh, suggesting that there is an agenda behind the allegations against him. And that letter by Caroline Dynage proves there is, in my opinion. And I am so glad that Rumble have done this and told her where to go, basically, and rightly so. But I'm sure the CEO of Rumble must now understand because of this, they'll come after them too. Hence, their share prices have tumbled. And no doubt, Caroline Dynage MP and the rest of them will now come after Rumble. Because these people want to control the narrative. They want to control who earns a living. They want to control who has a platform. They want to control who uh, is allowed to say what. And that cannot be allowed in a free and democratic society. Today it's Russell Brand, tomorrow it's one of us, and then it's one of you. And the online safety bill, by the way, was sneakily passed um, without any pomp and ceremony by Parliament on the 19th of September, two days ago, while this Russell Brand thing was going on. And I was talking to Andy the Gabby Cabby on the phone or via Twitter privately earlier. And he may be correct, this whole Russell Brand palaver may be a distraction from the online safety bill being passed, or as I suggested, it's a distraction from more of our rights being eroded, taken away from us, such as the right to be presumed innocent before proven guilty. And I promise you there's much more to come over this uh, Russell Brand issue. So watch this space, and there we go. That's my video, I hope you like. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and until the next time, Roger Trout.